It's a beautiful summer day here in New York City. Right now I'm at Central Park doing a little relaxing before I head to lunch and it is indeed a very exciting lunch. I'm going to the two Michelin star Midtown Manhattan restaurant called The Modern. The restaurant is located within MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, which contains such masterpieces as Van Gogh's Star at Night or Dali's Persistence of Memory. It is without a doubt a phenomenal world-class museum, but today I'm all about the culinary arts. While I've wanted to go to this restaurant for a while, the reason why I'm going to it today is because it's restaurant week and the modern is one of its participants. I mean, they really should call it restaurant month because it literally lasts longer than a month, which is pretty damn awesome. But anyways, the modern offers a two course, $45 menu for lunch. However, it should be noted that this restaurant week menu applies to the bar at the modern. It's basically like two restaurants in one. The modern, the dining room offers like a tasting menu. It's far more expensive and it's pretty much for dinner time only, I believe. The bar room at the modern is a far more casual affair and it's where I'll be going to today. They offer a la carte options. Now let's be clear, this restaurant has earned its two Michelin stars from the tasting menu they offer, not so much the bar room. Still, the food at the bar room falls under the same ethos of the whole restaurant and should still be of great quality. In fact, there's a lot of Michelin starred restaurants these days that have two separate menus like uh, Momofuku Ko, Aqua V, or Gramercy Tavern. I really like this because it gives chefs a way to offer more casual options like a burger or sandwiches or courses that don't necessarily fit in with the tasting menu. I had to get out of that bench. This douchebag of a goose comes out of nowhere and starts biting my backpack. If for some reason the modern offers goose on the menu, I will definitely be eating one of those little guys. But regardless, the restaurant's about to open, so let's head to the modern. Located beside MoMA and adjacent to the museum's sculpture garden is The Modern. Since its debut in 2005, the restaurant has earned numerous accolades, including a three-star New York Times review, multiple James Beard awards, and a coveted two Michelin stars. The design of the establishment is contemporary, but it still maintains a sort of timeless fine dining feel. For the bar room, the menu features seasonal cuisine offered a la carte from executive chef Thomas Allen. After relaying my order, I was presented with a nice sized portion of fresh bread and butter. This was clearly a pull apart loaf, but in my excitement, I buttered it up and dove right in. It was absolutely delicious. It's not a light chunk of bread either. There's definitely some body to it, which I appreciated, but the flavor was wonderful. Soon I regained some sense and pulled the bread apart as it was intended. This makes it perfect for sharing, but luckily I came alone, so it was all mine to enjoy. My first course was the hamachi with sour melon and shiso. This dish was perfect for a summer day. It was light and refreshing. The hamachi, of course, was delicious, but it was the accompanying elements that really made this a great starter. Although, I felt that this dish should have been presented with a spoon as the lingering liquid was far too appetizing to pass up. So I picked up my bowl and slurped it out, which wasn't the most elegant behavior for a fine dining restaurant, but at the same time, how could I not do that when it tasted that good? Actually, I probably should have just asked for a spoon. Not long after my table was cleared, my main course arrived. It was the foie gras stuffed chicken with endives and Meyer lemons. Just like my appetizer, the presentation was gorgeous. One could take a picture of this chicken, hang it up inside the museum this restaurant is located in, and it wouldn't feel out of place. The chicken was so juicy and perfectly cooked, but the really fascinating entity was the stuffing under the skin. Now, I didn't taste any foie gras, but I loved the added crunch that it gave to the chicken. Overall, this was a very satisfying savory dish, but one that did have a nice contrast to it with the citrus from the lemons. Simply put, it was an immense pleasure to eat this chicken. While the restaurant make menu only covers two courses, I added a dessert to my meal. I chose the milk and chocolate with candied pecans. 
There's nothing complex about the ingredients on this plate, but the sheer variety of textures and the quality of it all was remarkable. Plus, there's two different flavors of ice cream, which were so smooth, but they also brought a temperature variation in contrast to the other components on the plate. Honestly, if one enjoys chocolate, there's no way in hell one could not fall in love with this dessert. Except if you're allergic to pecans, then this dessert is not for you, but for me, it was a great ending to a great lunch. My lunch today at the Modern was absolutely delicious. I loved everything about it. My food, of course, was excellent, but I've got to say the service was phenomenal. From the moment I walked through the establishment stores to when I left, the service was always on point. Even towards the end of my visit, when the restaurant was absolutely packed, there was no slowdown in service whatsoever. The Modern truly operates as a well-oiled machine. Value-wise, The Modern certainly has one of the best restaurant week deals out there. $45 for two courses of such remarkable quality is a great opportunity. Plus, I think it's essential to get the added a la carte dessert course, not only because it's so damn good, but you're also saving so much money to begin with that $16 more is a small price to pay. In summation, I loved my lunch at The Modern. The food was excellent, the service was on point, and I think they offer one of the best restaurant week deals in New York City. Now, I would certainly love to return one day to sample the tasting menu, but regardless of the menu, The Modern, I think, is a great restaurant, and I had a great lunch today. I am indeed very happy today, thanks to The Modern.